Hello. They had a female on 911 yelling, help me, help me. This is the Century Village of Boca Raton. Uh, I just happened to be right in front of the development when the call came out. So when it was dispatched, I was already on my way inside. And as I pulled into the apartment complex where the building was, I could see uh, an active flame still going in the window of the apartment with smoke coming out the door. The door had been open. I think I yelled, get out, get out. Um, didn't hear anything. I ran up the stairwell and as I came to the apartment, I could see two people inside. One was sitting next to the door, the male, Byron. I couldn't really see much of that. There was a lot of smoke. And I could see his wife who was sitting across from him. She appeared to be in shock. Um, she was just looking at him really, not saying much. I yelled, get out, and she just kind of looked at me. That's when I kind of took a breath, fresh air, and went in and kind of helped her get up and move her out. I got her into the hallway, down the hall to the stairs, away from the apartment. I went back to him. As I went inside, I got a better look at him. He had been severely burned. I first attempted to pick him up, but due to his severe burns, I didn't really want to move him because I didn't want to cause any more damage to the burns. The chair he was sitting in was like a wicker chair, I guess. It was still smoldering. His clothes had been, his clothes were gone pretty much. They were, had already burned off. He was, the chair was still burning. The drapes that were behind him were still burning off. I grabbed the chair and I just kept dragging him to the stairs. I confirmed with the wife briefly about what had occurred and she said that she, he was trying to light a candle and that's what started the fire. At that time, I had to go downstairs. I was coughing pretty bad at that point from all the smoke inhalation. He was 95 from what I understand. He had Parkinson's. He could either had not walk or had quite a bit of trouble walking. When I was in the apartment about an hour or two after the incident, doing the walkthrough with the EOD Detective Smith, um, I noticed the memorabilia from fencing in the Olympics. Didn't really think much of it at the time, but later on in the night, Detective Smith uh, let me know that Byron Krieger was actually an Olympian in 1952, also 1956, and he was within the top 10 in fencing, from what I understand. To be honest, I didn't realize how bad it was until I had gotten him out of the, into the hallway. I wish I could have gotten there sooner.